Well, the unthinkable happened. The outbreak was far, far, too much for us to contain. And so we are here. Here in Who is Zombie? Now this right here caught my eye because it kind of had that papers please-ish type of gameplay mechanics to it. Except we're going to be running a civilian checkout center for our Fallout Bunker. Where we are in charge of checking people out. Making sure they're coming in fine so they can enter. Or if we witness any sort of, you know, possibility of infection. Well, I'm sorry, my friend, you got to get out of right here, man. Shit. As I understand this bad way right here as well. This has got uh, nine different endings as well. I think the campaign is like roughly 30 days or so. So nine endings, 30 day campaign. Seems like there's going to be a deviation for a lot of different things for us to do here. So let's put this out as a one shotter. See what you guys think. If you enjoyed, maybe we come back and do a bit more. But right now, you know, let's just find out what who is zombie is all about. So day one finally begins. I wish the sun hadn't risen today. I mean, you want it to be completely dark? It's probably more dangerous out there if it's still dark all the time. You know, at least in daylight, you can kind of tell the zombies apart from regular humans. We got Bell as well. Um, well, that's nice motivation coming from a supervisor. Oh, <laughs> morning, Bell. Nice timing there. So, if you're done fooling around, take a look at this, will you? September 12, 2033, as government mass care shelters become overcrowded, people have started to construct civilian shelters in the surrounding areas. However, many citizens doubt that these shelters can provide the same protection. Well, it's just as I said, the first impression is crucial. So, keep up the good work. Okay, thanks. Okay, so what do we got here? Green skin tissue? Out of here. I'm sorry, my friend. If you have green skin, you're not coming in. I don't mean to sound, you know, insensitive about the color of your skin. <laughs> Fugitive. Citizens with a red band around the neck? Out of here. <laughs> so even if you're a criminal, if you've been convicted, you can't come in. Wow. That was pretty harsh, too. I'm not saying, like, you know, whether I agree or not with that one, you know, depends on the crimes you've committed, I suppose. I probably wouldn't watch you around me if I'm in a civilian shelter as well, if you've done some really terrible things, but... What if it's like a minor thing, you know, like an offense, like, you know, stole a car? You know, if somebody stole a car, I probably wouldn't mind them being in a shelter with me, as opposed to like, oh, this guy, you know, was a mass murderer and ate people. Then I'd be like, you know what, maybe this guy should not come in. So let's just get to it. Oh man, this guy's been apparently lifting this time off. How slow? Does, oh, you actually go pretty quickly. Michael Harris, 23 male. He's from Oska. Everything seems to check out. How did you get here, buddy? I ran all the way here. Anything you want to say? Somewhat shabby looking shelter. Okay, you know what? If it's so shabby, how about you hit the... No, come on. It's fine. Get in here. Oh, hello, Stephen Parker, Mr. Greenface. Oh, that actually doesn't carry over. Get out of here, dude. I can't ask you this question anymore. <laughs> I thought it'd carry over. Patricia Hill, 67 female, Oska. Why did you come here on foot? I used a boat and the river brought me here. Oh, really? Okay. In you go. Oh, I could have done more. I thought you just needed three. Um, you look legit. Sorry, Lisa Walker. I didn't, I thought like it would, the timer would be set for persons. So I could ask you guys questions, you know, chit chat a little bit, but unfortunately, no, I can't. Well, I mean, at least we had to reject this. So there's that. I guess I've learned a valuable lesson. Falcon, you cannot chit chat with people. Which sucks. I like chit-chatting. Talk to someone with a speech about what to proceed the story. Ooh, okay. So I guess this is how we're going to be affecting all these endings going forward. We got nine of them. Bell. Aiden, you're exhausted. Oh. Don't laugh. The selection itself was a piece of cake. I just wasn't completely prepared. Huh, okay. I see. Well done. Keep working like you did today. You can do it. Well, we're two days in. For some reason, I'm starting to feel anxious. That's right. What? September 13, 2033. The government announced that it will soon launch a new round of research on zombies at numerous facilities. The Anderson River is filled with zombie corpses that appears to have originally been dumped upstream. Caution is advised, as the water might be contaminated by the virus. The authorities have distributed additional manuals for the detecting the infected. You can do it. Alright, 
I need to get going. That fence won't fix itself. You better get that fence fixed, dude, because I have a feeling that something's going to happen to you. It's never going to get it fixed, and they're going to swarm in through there. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Brian's got no minutes for us, Aiden. So, no swimming. Citizens that have been that have crossed the river naked out? <laughs> so, they could have crossed it with clothes on, that was fine. As long as, if you're nude, if you were skinny dipping in there, you can't come in, sorry. If you had clothes on, come on in, it's perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> you look different from this picture, dude. Oh, that that's me. How did you get here? I had to cross the forest of Veronia to get here. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> That picture, I ain't down with that one. Mark Duncan. Um, tell me how you got here. I swam across the river. Were you naked? Sorry, you can't come in. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. As long as they were, they swam, they can't come in. Joshua Taylor. How'd you get in here? I got a ride from soldiers. Okay. Brian Jenkins. How'd you get here? I wanted to cross the river, but I can't swim. Open the door, come on. Alright, fine, come in. Sorry, John Scott. You gotta work out somewhere else, buddy. Not in my civilian shelter. So that kid reminded me a lot of me. <laughs> he was basically me. Can't swim. I wanted to save myself and, you know, the place flooded. I needed to get across to make it, but unfortunately I can't swim, so I just died. I could at least watch some TV. All the broadcasting companies were shut down ages ago. In this world, you don't need TV. I know. But... So boring. If you want to watch TV so bad, go to that government building. I think they have an LED TV on the wall somewhere. I mean, who... who pissed on your cereal, Brian? I know I didn't, but you know what? I'm starting to think about doing so. Yeah, who is that? <laughs> You seem to really stand out from the other uh, characters here so far, homeless old man. Oh, uh, hi there. Who are you? Uh huh. Who, who am I? Uh, I'm, I'm just a wandering sentimentalist who knows how to enjoy life. So you're homeless? No, I, I'm a romantic, a noble wanderer. Okay, whatever. Why are you here? I mean, technically speaking, isn't everybody homeless in this post-apocalypse? When you think about it, I mean, we're all fighting shelters to live into this, but I don't think we all technically have homes anymore, so we're all homeless in a sense, so... Are we really, you know, holding against this guy that you know, we gotta call him homeless? Or do we give him a name? Huh? <laughs> well... Do you have any food? So you're a beggar? Oh, there's no need to yell! So you to give me something or not? Well, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, there's no food rationing I have to do that I'm aware of, so... Sure. Let's give the homeless man food. I guess this will probably for sure affect one of the endings going forward. Here. Oh, oh, thank you, really. Thank you so much, huh? You seem to be making it pretty well in such dangerous times. Huh? Well, I live way up in the mountains, but they can't reach me. Don't worry about me. Let's see. Well, uh, I'm off then. I'll drop by to say hi again soon. <laughs> All right. Hanging out in the mountains, huh? I guess that makes sense. You kind of want to be in the less populated areas in this post-apocalypse zombie situation, I'd imagine. Me here in SoCal? Oh, man, I'm gone. <laughs> I am. I'm instantly gone. Again? By the way, nobody brought me a newspaper today. What's going on? Uh-oh. Could be a problem. Individuals with light purple skin color. Oh. Oh no, that's that's a good. So if you're purple, you're fine. So we accept purple here, but if you're green, you gotta go. <coughs> How did you get here? She came here on foot. I don't have wings, do I? Luckily you don't have a red band either, so you weren't a criminal at the age of ten. That's good. In you go. Oh, I see that open wound. Get out of here, Christopher. Green, oh, I'm sorry, Nancy Garcia. I'm so sorry. Call Clark. Uh, why do you look so different? No, haven't I? Okay. In you go, I guess. Perp. Okay, he's got the perp. Everything seems to be fine. Perp is uh strain, right? Just regular strain. Forty-four. You're the biggest person I've counted as far. 
How did you get? Tell me. Oh, I was going to ask how you got here. Brian is snoring. That's not Brian, though. That's Bell. Unless Brian is somewhere that we can't see him. He's snoring. And Bell's going to say something, right? He must be very tired. Yeah, yeah. I guess he saw if we're sleeping and we're talking. Okay. That makes a bit more sense. No wonder he hasn't slept in two days. Two days? Aiden, I know that every day that goes by takes a toll on you. No need to grumble in front of Brian. He's doing his best. Why did this warrant a giggle? And I'm not going to giggle in case you're wondering. There's no giggles coming from me. Yeah, okay. I mean, why, what did I do wrong? I just asked about the TV. I mean, I'm not even sure people can watch TV nowadays here in 2022. Much less in 2033 where there's a post-apocalyptic event happening. It's day four, isn't it? It's not getting any easier, is it? Brian, aren't you supposed to be um, off duty today? Two hours of sleep is enough for me, especially in a situation like this one. So you're a hardworking guy while I'm over here complaining about, oh, I got no TV. Uh. Sorry for wasting your three days worth of sleep in just one day. Today's newspaper. September 15, 2033, the government has finally isolated the new strain of the virus. They have been designated in as innocent and bready. We strongly urge all citizens to gather information provided about the new strains and study the updated descriptions. In Santa Maria, the virus only infects males. Oof, now you're throwing a bunch of extra little curveballs my way. So, if they're from Santa Maria, only the males we have to worry about, perhaps? Oh, what about yesterday's newspaper? Ask about that tonight. Right now, finish this repair. Finishing this repair is more important, sure. So Santa Maria, males from this place of origin, get out of here. So all Santa Maria boys, not coming in. Quarantine lifted. Citizens having crossed the river. So now if you got here crossing the river by swimming, you're, you're okay. You're fine. Strain Bready. Pass and out. Switch functions. Okay, here we go. Zombies infected with the Bready strain. They are easy to discern, possess extraordinary strength, and are diabolical. Passing out should be used inversely. Yeah, so I mean, I'm supposed to... I mean, I don't know why you gotta make it more difficult on me. <laughs> Just because they're the ones infected with Bready. Alright. So apparently they got like wacky eyes? Okay. Uh, Thomas Ward? You... You're, are you from Santa Maria? No, I think you're fine. I hope that's... You should have asked him. Purple? El Ramia? I guess you're fine. You don't have wacky eyes. Susan Ford, your picture looks a little bit different. I'm sorry. I can't let you in. Matthew Jackson, male. Um, origin. Did you come here on foot? And I guess he's fine. Oh! <gasps> oh, but... Okay, um... Out. 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 I, okay, hold up. Are uh, you in? It said on the origin, it didn't say Santa Maria. But letting him in dinged me as Santa Maria. So, I guess now it's you got to start asking as well. Like where they came from, the origin. You are a new NPC. Alan? Huh? Show your face. It's been four days. Where were you? Oh, God, come on. Just just check the area in front of the Iron Gate in the morning. You'll find a neat little gift there. The auxiliary lithium-ion battery needs to be installed on the gate. What is it? Really? Oh, you see, this is what's wrong with humans. Aren't you one of them? Okay, so as you probably know, the charge in the Iron Gate uh, the screen hall is limited. It is. It's really annoying because I'd like to ask more questions. Maybe the Santa Maria thing would have not happened if I wasn't, you know, trying to meet time limits here. And I could ask people questions as I did with the very first day I was asking questions. If we connect this to the gate, we can increase that charge. Okay, so um, how do we do that? Oh, enough of that. I'll do it myself and you, you just go and get some sleep. <laughs> 
I thought all you did was fool around, but actually it turns out you're pretty useful to have around. <laughs> when you, there's a lot of people always giggling and laughing. <laughs> Considering what's happening around us, people seem relatively happy in this game. When you send the report to the government research team, please don't forget to mention my great achievements. So Brian, what about the newspaper for the third day we talked about this morning? They say that the newspaper delivery man was ambushed by zombies. Ambushed by zombies? That job's more dangerous than I had thought. Oh yeah, you don't think that traveling outside in the post-apocalypse might be dangerous? In compared to just being, oh I don't know, maybe in a shelter? Security? Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, especially in a situation like this, well, it'll probably be okay. I wonder what was in third day newspaper is going to be kind of somewhat important for us later on. Oh well. Okay, so remember, now we got to ask if the Santa Maria is going to be a problem. I hope Homeboy gave me a bit more of an extra charge too, by the way. Who's there? Hello, Aiden. What brings you here? You let me in yesterday. Oh yeah, hi. Did you rest well? Is the room okay for you? Yes, I really appreciate it, but I would like to ask you a favor. What is it? My daughter, Laura, if she comes here, can you please let me know? We were in the middle of that mayhem when I let go of her hand. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I will do what I can. Don't cry, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oof. Daughter, Laura. I have a feeling, let's just say that I might have a hunch that she's probably going to show up, but uh, not necessarily looking too good. This time we have Banfoot Road. Individuals from this place of origin, out of here. Okay, Brian Morris. Where'd you live? It was in Santa Maria, was it? Mark Anderson. Photo's a bit off, my friend. I was really fat, wasn't I? After losing weight, I look younger and feel great. That's what a lot of people say, my friend. Um, where did you live, though? Veronia. Okay. Can't go by the picture alone. Where did you live? Oscar. Okay. Oh, it's the daughter. Oh, how do I how do I get the the, the lady here? Oh, she's purple though. Purple's fine. Falcon. You ding dong. No, get out of here. I I totally spaced out on that one. Donald Harris. Where'd you live before coming here? Brian! How's it going? You sleep well? It seems like you were uh, really tired. You feel better now? Working two nights in a row definitely takes still on a body. Well, I'm glad you got some rest. You know why we didn't get our newspaper today? I've heard rumors that there was a terrorist attack in Lufthaven. And you know what the government is like there. What? In Lufthaven? Calm down. If it's Lufthaven, it doesn't necessarily mean that the government forces are within reach. The exact location is a newspaper office just outside Lufthaven. Newspaper office. It means that at least for some time, we won't be able to get any information from newspapers. Don't worry. They'll probably switch to emergency power, and we'll be up and running tomorrow. I have a bad feeling about this. Ooh. Are we spelling out for bearing doom, perhaps? Perhaps. Now we got day six. I'm curious if we got a stormy night. I'm curious if there's any follow with the girl or the lady, the daughter. Wow. No wonder it was so cloudy. It's pouring out there now. The hell are you? Hello, Aiden. It's going to be a while before the screening hall door opens, so please wait outside. Huh? My name is Lawrence. I'm in Special Inspector dispatched by the government. I Inspector? Oh, I'm so sorry. I we're only just opened the shelter, you know. <laughs> it's okay. I can tell, don't worry. Be brave and show some confidence. Does your shelter have a name? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> You're right. After all, it's not that important, is it? If it's rotten inside, 
Even though the most impressive name won't do it any good. <laughs> May I ask uh, what brings you to our humble shelter? An inspector's job is simple. I will evaluate you for one day to see if you've got what it takes to be the supervisor of a civilian shelter. If you do well during the screening, I'll give you a good evaluation. But if you make too many mistakes and fail, I'll have to send these people elsewhere. I'll be watching carefully, so please focus. Ah, and take this, today's newspaper. September 17, in response to being rejected by the shelters, infected citizens have resorted to violence resulting in heavy casualties. In response to the re recent increase of zombie incidents in civilian shelters, the government is preparing to dispatch special inspectors to evaluate these facilities. So this is either a legit newspaper or it might be just maybe not legit somehow, and this guy is in some sort of like weird con, I'm not sure. This kind of, kind of like looks evil, you know? Just look at him. He looks evil. But why did you bring us a newspaper? Have you heard about the terrorist attack on the newspaper office in Lofthaven? As a matter of fact, yes. So the management let some of its delivery workers rest until today. However, the office reopened earlier than expected. The delivery man in charge of this neighborhood also got a day off, so I thought if I'm going to meet you, I might as well bring you your newspaper. So, I'll stay here and observe. Good luck. Finally it happened. What happened? People revolting, I guess? Weapons. Out. Tools. Out. Googly eyes in Euro. We need seven for this one. Um, photos a bit different. I was really fat, wasn't I? After losing, okay. That looks like you, Santiago. Good. Um, Andrew Gray. I'm from Santiago, a magical place. Not sure about that, but you just have the strain, so that's fine. Googly eyes. Um, no. Sorry. We're getting a lot of time today, it feels like. Susan Ford, where have you been recently? Oska? Did you come here on foot? I ran all the way here. I'm dying of hunger, please let me in, don't make me wait. I mean, everything seems to check out, right? That's okay. Ryan Jenkins. I wanted to cross the river, but I can't swim. Uh, where did you live? I'm from Oska. Doesn't he have any injuries, right? Okay, that's fine. Oh. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm not sure what was up with that face, but I didn't like it. Ryan Mortis. Where'd you live? I'm from Aventon. How did you get here? Of course, I came here on foot. And Matthew Jackson. Where'd you live? Sorry, Matthew. Well, that's easy. All right. And we got a bonus. Our very first bonus as well. Perfect. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go through these um, individuals here. See what they got to say. I was hoping for a little bit of follow with um, Lawrence, but apparently not right now. We're going to go through them. We're going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, would like to see more, let me know in the comments. I believe a thumbs up in the video. Let's me know you guys want to see some more and, you know, the chance that YouTube might actually put the video in your feed. Could be good. In case you subscribe and, you know, want to see the videos, that's the reason why you're subscribed. You know, if that makes any sense, you subscribe to watch videos. I don't know. It, it did make sense in my times, but nowadays, who knows with YouTube. What's up, Alan? Alan, there's something I need to know. What is it? Let's say the screening sheet prohibits taking in citizens from Region A. But what if all they have is innocent, and it won't cause any trouble? <laughs> Very simple, Aiden. Every infected individual has only one symptom. So even if they cross that region, if they have already shown signs of the innocent strain, there should not be any problem, right? Yeah, that's right. That one was easy. Thank you, Alan. Oh, that was tough. Good job, Aiden. You said you had an evaluation today. Yeah, I did my best. Don't know what the outcome will be. <laughs> well done. What well, should be perfect is, you know, I rocked it. Yeah, you woke it out, Aiden. <laughs> Thank you. Just as we thought, the newspaper company recovered quickly enough. I know, right? Mm, by the way, normally the newspaper delivery man would bring the newspaper. Oh, where'd I go? Would bring the newspaper across the screening point and to the dormitory mailbox. 
We gave those instructions before, but starting tomorrow, you will come directly to the screening hall. What? Why? The delivery person may get infected on his way here. We can't take any chances. I see. That's a good decision, Brian. No wonder I trust you. Yeah. Well, with that, we'll wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.